Hello and welcome to The Daily Dozen. My name is Nate Guadani, and today we're going to be focusing on your joints. So we have lots and lots of joints for our bodies. So these exercises are going to help make sure your joints feel smooth and open. If you wake up feeling stiff and crunchy, then this class is going to leave you feeling really smooth and refreshed and feel like you can just flow through the rest of your day. All right, let's begin. Go ahead and stand up. And we're going to begin with a wide stance and bend your knees down just a little bit. Fingertips come up to your collarbones and you're gonna rotate in a circle. Just like this, nice and smooth. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Rotating. So make sure that you've got a comfortable place that you've got enough room you can move around in. And you can do this barefoot, you can wear shoes. Although for some of our ankle exercises, you're going to want to take your shoes off. So just be aware of that. Rotate through your shoulders, your chest opens. And now go backwards. So we're going to take your joints through their full range here. This is really good if you work at a computer or if you're sitting down a lot. We tend to hunch our back and round our shoulders. So warming this area up, really important. All right, go ahead and release, shake it out. Number two, step forward with your left foot and right leg back and you're gonna glide front to back like this. Just warm up those hip flexors back here. The front knee warms up. You might even feel a little bit on your calves here too. All right, once you find a comfortable distance on your lunge there, you're gonna take your arms, float up and pull back. One, two, three, four, palms open, five, Six, seven, eight. So squeeze your elbows back. One, two, three, four. Open the chest. Five, six, seven, eight. Bonus points if you can alternate the top hand each time you move. So as you open the palms, you open the chest. And then when you close the hands, you squeeze the shoulder blades and back. Good. Inhale deeply. And exhale deeply. All right, one more round. You should feel like rubber bands just stretching. The smooth, resilient. And last one here. Okay, and release. Switch your legs now. Come back and step forward with the other foot. And warm it up a little, gliding here. Number three. So when you do lunges, especially in the morning, you reset your body's ability to find this position later in the day. So your body kind of has this ability, not like a rubber band where you stretch and it comes back, but your body, when it stretches, it actually stays open for a little while. So when you do your lunges in the morning, you have that extra capacity for the rest of the day. Now this one, you're going to put your palms straight forward like this, and then you're going to go one, two, other side, three, four. One, two, three, four. You don't have to change your feet. I'm just showing you different angles here. Three, four. So you're keeping that flex on your wrist. So there's a little bit of a stretch on the inner side of your elbows, inside of your wrist. The top hand goes right overhead. The bottom hand goes right next to the hip. Twice on each side. And you're going to aim for this upper back and that big bone, the C7 vertebrae, the biggest bone in your neck, the last bone of your neck before it reaches your thoracic spine. It's a major intersection of bone, muscle, nerves, tendons, energy points, meridian channels. There's a big intersection there and if it gets clogged up, just like when traffic gets blocked in an intersection, it can get blocked up for miles in all directions. So open this upper back, upper shoulder area. All right, release and let it go. Nice. Next, we're going to move down to the elbows. So take a wide stance. You're going to kind of squat down a little bit so your lower body is engaged. This helps your upper body relax. Make a light fist. And you're going to rotate down and out and curl to so you brush your knuckles together. And then you squeeze and at the very end you bend the wrist out and that creates this little stretch here on the inside of your tendons. 
folks who have tendonitis, the inflammation of this tendon here, tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, may find this a little challenging, although very helpful over the long term. So open those inner elbows, inner wrists, rotate through those joints. Nice. So how many, how often, how long, how much, just do the right amount for today. You might need to stop before I do, or you may want to continue on a little longer. Listen to yourself first and me second. All right, release, shake it out. And now for the wrist, you're gonna lace your fingers up and pin your thumbs on top. So they're all stacked up like this. Bend it front and back, rotating, and then side to side, rotating and then put it together into a circle like this. Good, and roll. Roll the wrist. So you're rolling one wrist at a time in a full rotation. Good. And now to go backward, switch the bottom pinky and relace the fingers. And make sure you're not deep in the joint, you're right at the fingertips here and go backward. Roll those wrists, keep the shoulders relaxed. Over time, you can do this a little bit faster, but start slow. There's a saying in Qigong and Tai Chi, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. So once you can do it slow, then you can do it smooth, then you can do it fast. All right, shake those hands out and release. Let's move down to the hips. So take your feet wide, hands on the tops of your hips. Keep your head centered and you're gonna move your hips to one side, back, other side and forward and rotate. All the way around your body here. The shoulders relax. You're stretching the insides, the back sides, the outside, front, all around the hip joints. Nice and smooth, keeping your knees more or less straight so your hips get all the attention. If you keep your head fixed also, you're gonna get more rotation on the hips rather than if you move your whole head around like this. Keep your head more still. Switch directions, go the other way. Circle around the whole waist, hips and spine. Wonderful. Come back to center. We're moving down the body now and this one's gonna require a little bit of balance. So you may wanna hold on to a bow yoga staff or you can hold on to a wall or a chair. You're gonna take one leg and balance, cross over and rotate around like this. Nice smooth circles. If you're holding on to something, try to lighten your touch little by little until you can even wean yourself off of it completely. Don't be afraid of a little wiggle and wobble either. That's fine. Just make sure you're safe. Okay, about eight to 10 times and then switch directions, same leg. And you can also come down each time. If you're just starting out and this is challenging, just do one circle and then come down between each rotation. And then as you build strength and balance, you can hover the whole time and challenge yourself that way. All right, switch your legs, same thing other side, cross the middle, open wide. Get this whole hip joint to open here. I hear little crackles and so forth. Don't be alarmed, that's pretty normal. Good, and the upper body can kind of counterbalance, so don't worry about moving around. Use your hands and everything to help you balance at the same time. Switch directions. It may help to fix your eyes on something stable. Although for a challenge, you could move your eyes around. Increase or decrease that challenge as needed. All right, eight to 10 times each way. Shake that out. You can even tap those hips a little. Release. Moving down the body now to the knees. You're gonna make your feet parallel, bend the knees, hands cover. Avoid hunching your back though. You wanna keep your back long. And then you're gonna rotate like this, circling through the knees. Good. 
So your surface you're on is nice and smooth. No wrinkles to worry about. Yeah, circling around. And then backwards. Nice and smooth. So if you have arthritis, this can be a little painful. An alternative is to stand a little taller or a little wider and just do smaller movements if they're having any pain. All right, now in and out, rotate. Circling, nice. You're bathing the articular cartilage, the ends of your bones in synovial fluid, a lubricant and a nourishing fluid that cleans the joint as well as nourishes it. Go backwards. Good, keeping your balance here. And standing up, well done. And now for this next one, you also may want to use a pillow or a blanket. Have some little cushion here to help with your feet, because a lot of people have a lot of tension in their feet, they can get cramps and so forth. And you may also want to use something to help you balance, wall, chair, or bow staff. <clears throat> Starting off, you're going to step forward with one foot, lift the heel, and you're going to rotate like this. You're going to lean into it, moving your body weight into each of the toes and the ankles as you rotate. Pressing in a little. You're moving from your center. All right, there's a lot of joints in your feet. So there's all these areas where the body can get very stiff, but also a lot of areas where it can get more open when you rotate. Go backward. Try not to over rely on your balance support though. It's okay to have a little wiggle and wobble, that's fine. In fact, it's good for you. All right, now here's where you may want to use that pillow, blanket, or cushion. You're going to put that foot behind you, and you're going to roll across the tops of your feet. This can be quite excruciating for some folks, so just keep piling up the pillows until it doesn't hurt. But if this hurts, you likely want to do it more often because I've had a lot of students who start off with really stiff, painful feet, and over time, doing this daily, can really reduce that pain and improve their range of motion. Always check with your doctor first, of course, if you have any injuries. Go backwards now, reverse. Get all the toes, really get those crackles out. I grew up playing soccer and skateboarding, so my feet have taken a lot of abuse, my ankles too. So I get a lot of crackles here from old injuries. And go ahead and press down and hold, stretch the tops of your feet, take a deep breath. Let that energy rise and circulate here. Nicely done. Give that foot a vigorous shake and release. And this is a really interesting moment now when you stand and just compare the left and the right. Can you feel a difference after just those ankle rotations? Maybe the whole leg feels different even though just the ankle has been done differently. So now the other side, step forward, lift the heel, and move in a circle, kind of shifting your body weight. Not just moving your foot, your whole core is moving here. Nice. Gliding through. And don't have to worry about counting it, just do it until it feels like it's complete. Usually around eight to 10 times, and then reverse. But your body is gonna be different than mine, so you, want to adjust and adapt to what your needs are, not trying to keep up or slow down for me. Lift that heel up to really get into the toes. And now let's do the back side. Use that cushion if you need it and roll across the tops. And if you are wearing shoes, this one doesn't really work with shoes on. So take those shoes off. You can do socks or bare feet. And you want to get the toes to curl under and get that whole other side of the foot that almost never gets stretched. If we're in shoes all day and we're just walking, the feet only go up, they never go down. Go ahead and reverse. That's why this can be so painful if you're just starting off now and your foot's not used to it, so it's trying to protect itself. But if you can do this with cushions and do it consistently, your body realizes that it's safe and it's okay to open and you'll be able to get that benefit and that mobility back and this can help with your balance. Press and hold, take a deep breath. Feel that stretch rising up the shins all the way up and down the body. Good 
work. Give that foot a nice vigorous shake and release. And if you want to order one of these, you can check the description. Uh, these are really handy tools. They're lightweight, they're flexible, and they're padded. So get yourself a bow yoga staff for keeping yourself balanced here. All right, now we're going to be doing a full body stretch. You're going to lace your fingers up, bring your feet together as close as you can. They don't have to touch, but close together. And reach up as tall as you can. Inhale, press up, up, up. Squeeze your whole body. And I want to give you an option. You don't have to do it, but if you'd like, you can rock back and forth, toes and heels. Only if you feel safe doing this, you might want something behind you, a couch or a chair. You can add a little pump here. This is good to get your blood circulating out of your feet and legs, where it often can swell up and pool and get stagnant. So full body stretch with ankle pumps, bonus. All right, nicely done. And now just hold that stretch. If you need a little break, just rest your hands on your head. And then reach up. Now you're gonna rotate, turn to one side. And all those joints that we've warmed up, we're gonna now squeeze the blood and circulate the energy, waking up your spine, deeply breathing. And back to center, other way, twist. Neck open a little too. Getting taller on the inhale and turning just a little more on the exhale until you find your edges. And now back to center. Let your hands rest behind your head and move your elbows in and out like butterfly wings, flapping in and out. Feel the chest open, the shoulders open. And then hold the elbows wide, fix the core and very slowly tip, keeping the center really stable as you tip. Your hands can stay behind the head, elbows back. Stabilize your core as you tip and breathe. Don't go too far, just feel the energy rising up the sides. And back to center, and now the other way. Gently tip. Take a deep breath here. Exhale and release and shake it out. All right, now what would be a daily dozen without a baker's dozen? So you get a bonus stretch here, reduce swimming dragons. So this is a variation of a Qigong warm up. Take your feet wide, toes can point out a little bit. And this one kind of puts everything together. You get all your joints at once. So warm those hips a little bit. Make sure you find that distance that you can sustain for a while. Now press your palms together. Start to glide from left to right like this. Try to keep your head level if you can. And then the palms will press together gently and move toward the bent knee. And you'll feel that little twist through the spine and then turn your head away from your hands and your neck will stretch. You're getting these gentle rotations through all your joints, strengthening the legs, Creating space and mobility in your spine. Really powerful warm up to energize you for the rest of your day. You can do this one for just a short while, although over time you can build your endurance and you can do it for even a few minutes straight. This is supposed to be really good for longevity, according to a 100 year old plus Qigong teacher. China that my teacher learned it from. All right, come on back to center and walk your feet in. Hands to the belly. Let's just finish with a few deep breaths down to your core. Unlock your knees a little, soften the joints. Feel all that circulation flowing from head to toe. I hope you enjoyed our daily dozen. I hope your joints feel really good. I hope you feel smooth and fluid and ready for your day. And check back, we're gonna have lots of other daily dozen routines that you can just pick up and use in the morning or just as a little 
exercise snack throughout the day when you need some more energy or you need something to get you going. If you want to get even more proficient at these, practice one exercise, one video every day for about a week and then you'll really absorb the benefits before moving on to the next video. So use them how you like. There's lots of different ways you can combine these together. And if you have any suggestions for our next Daily Dozen video, check it out. And I hope to see you next time. Be well, my friends.